Right now, I'm going to use the Positive Church channel in a new way. You know, I came to the realization years ago that I could give the best sermon in the world with the most clever sayings, and over time, it wouldn't change life. Oh, they might have a good time or laugh a little bit, go home feeling good. What changed lives during a Sunday was the prayer, the meditation, the direct contact between the person sitting in the pew and God. And therefore, that's what we're going to do right now. In a moment, in our first meditation that we offer to become more Christ-like. God bless you. And I ask you to close your eyes and meditate and pray along with us. You'll see what it does in you. Dear friend, I ask you to join me in prayer and meditation. I pray that this meditation is going to make you more aware of God. This meditation is going to start in your human mind where you dwell on thoughts of spirituality. Not a generic spirituality, but a direct connection with God as God's child. Every cell of your human mind is immersed right now in divine ideas. Your mind is immersed in the thought of God. Your mind is cleansed of old thinking and old limitation thought by the mind of God. Right now, your mind is receiving illumination of divine ideas tailored to your life and your challenges and your problems. God is helping you to overcome your own past. God is the great giver of ideas and God is continuously giving you new and greater good. God gives to you right now. Your human mind is part of the mind of God. Have this mind in you that was in Christ Jesus. The Christ is manifest in your awareness. Every area of your mind is now aware of the Christ. The Christ light of thought illumines every dark crevice of error thinking. I ask you now to rest in the silence of prayer, accepting these ideas and preparing for God thought of the new ideas. You are seeing a new light. There is a new spotlight that you are walking towards in every thought. You can do so without pain, but only gladness as you walk toward your good. This is leading you into the higher spiritual illumination of God. The light of God is present within you. The light of God is not just for a preacher, a priest, or a rabbi. The light of God is for you. Jesus Christ says directly to you right now, You are the light of the world. Your mind is the receiver of divine ideas and the receiver of God's wisdom. You have the ability to think Christ's thoughts 
This magnifies and accelerates inside of your humanness. This moment and all of this day, all of this week, accelerating constantly. You are manifesting Christ consciousness in your own mind. Your eyes manifest Christ perceiving and Christ seeing. In the back of your eyes, there is a tremendous wisdom, and it manifests through the tissue of your eyes. You will be able to perceive anew with God vision. You will be able to perceive from on high. You will start to see and to seek the good in everything. And you will because you are seen with Christ vision. Rest in the silence of prayer. Human eyesight inside of you fades down and your Christ eyesight fades up. You are perceiving with a new light of day. Truly, it is the dawn of new life. Everything that you perceive around you has a profound new beauty, including the people in your life. You will be able to perceive people in new ways. You will be able to perceive your problems in a new way by seeing the solution. You will see as an overcomer sees. You will also perceive with new hope. Your voice will act as the loving voice of the Christ. Your voice will speak words that uplift and never tear down. Your voice will have the power to speak to others and move others because it sparks something inside of them. Your voice speaks with the power and authority from on high because it is not from you. It is from something that is on high and it is always good for all concerned. Your voice will be part of the voice of the world that helps to rebuild humanity by rebuilding humanity's thought and humanity's thoughts about themselves. Your voice is always going to speak to a spiritual awareness that is in each individual the hope in every situation. It will speak to the light in the darkness. Your voice will help to draw forth from other people the good that is within them. Rest in the silence of prayer. Your face is the face of Christ. Your face will glow with the Christ. The Christ light literally comes through you. Literally you will shine because you are the light of the world. You are going to give yourself body, mind, and soul to giving and being an active participant in Christ's thought and Christ's action. Christ's thought will not stay inside of you. It will be manifest by you in the world. Truly, 
you make a difference wherever you go because you are manifesting the Christ. You will make a difference in every life that you come close to. The Christ energy is in your hands. Your hands put out a gentle energy in their touch of love, unconditional love that accepts all people exactly where they are. You will never judge by withholding love. You will always convey your love unconditionally and freely. And you are glad for in so doing, you are making a commitment to give yourself in a new way, a new profound way that you have never done thus far in this lifetime. Your hands will have the touch that helps people realize that they too have the touch of a loving and accepting God. Your hands will have a tremendous power to comfort. Your hands will have a tremendous power to uplift. Just as the beloved painting behind me shows the outstretched hands of Jesus Christ, so others will think of you with your outstretched hands manifesting the presence of Jesus Christ in their world today. Accept this now in the silence of prayer. You are such a person that is constantly in action for God's good. You are such a person that is constantly in positive action for God. You are a person who every moment of every day, every hour, thinks, what can I give to this hour? What can I give to this situation? What can I give to this person? You are a person who is helping to spread seeds of Christ around the world, around your world, and you will profoundly change your world that you live in because you are a light of God in that world. You are going to season every area that you come to with the season of upliftment, good sense of humor, and joy. The joy of the Christ is manifest through you. The joy of the Christ will manifest not only in your mouth, but through the words that you speak to others and the presence that you radiate. You have a smile that radiates first, a voice that radiates second, a tone that radiates third. You have a charisma that radiates from you, that is positive and loving and all-accepting. This charisma radiates from you and will draw all people to you because it is not you or your ego that is sending out this spiritual power. It is God. God's love coming forth through you from inside of you that is bathing people in its light. I pray that you are bathed now in Christ energy. I pray that this bathing in Christ energy gives you new freedom and a new joy. You must give. You must be willing to give. Give your life to God in this way and follow Jesus Christ in this way. Always be an upliftment. 
you agree now at the depth of your being to change every moment that you live and make it a Christ moment. You are going to live life, your life, in the Christ way. Accept this now in the silence of prayer. I decree that Christ is manifest in your legs. You will have a great power in your legs to stand with perfect mobility, to walk with perfect agility, to climb stairs, to go down ramps, to do whatever the needs of the Christ are. The Christ will tell you where to go and when to go, and you will have the power to go there because you are empowered by the Christ energy. The strength in your body is Christ strength. The Christ strength will enable you to give freely to everyone. You will be an endless source of energy and good in your world. You no longer rely just upon yourself. You have additional power and an additional knowledge, an additional wisdom, and the additional health that you need with you. As you become aware of it, you start to feel the infilling of it in every cell of your physical body temple. And you begin to radiate in every action and reaction. Your reactions are powered by the Christ. You have a spiritual reserve of calm and peace. As you meet others who are negative, you meet problems and situations that are not up to the Christ standard. You have the power to see above the situation and above the appearance. You are no longer affected by it. You simply stand your ground on the foundation of Christ's love. You simply love unconditionally. In that way, you bathe the situation with the seed of tomorrow's change. And tomorrow there is good that comes as a harvest. You are in this moment, and you realize that there is a great power of God that is coming in you, through you, as you. And you do not keep it to yourself. You give and you give freely. You commit yourself today. Fully and completely. To becoming a channel of God's great activity. And a channel you are. For God's good. Following Jesus Christ. We say, Amen.